Welcome to WebOrb 101, Data Management. Data management is a swamp of complexity that can drown even the most experienced development team. Your data is table-oriented, but your code is object-oriented. Your clients are all trying to change your server-side data at the same time. Your servers are at constant risk from hackers, and your customers expect your app to be responsive despite network latency. WebOrb's data management infrastructure bridges that swamp. It rests on three pillars. First, WebOrb's data modeler, which makes it easy to import your application's database into the WebOrb environment. Second, WebOrb's code generator, which provides an object-oriented API to your application's table-based data. And third, WebOrb's runtime, which supports this API with full CRUD, transactions, and client synchronization. Let's see an example. Imagine that this is your internet application's database with tables account, order, order line, and product. Using WebOrb's Management Console's Data Management tab, one of WebOrb's many development tools, will make WebOrb aware of our database. Drag it into WebOrb's Data Modeler, press the Build button, and WebOrb will generate code for both client and server to expose this data model in an object-oriented API. Here's the generated client-side code with classes for each table in our data model. Here's the generated server-side code, which implements the server-side classes for each table. We've targeted c -sharp, but we could have targeted Visual Basic, Java, or PHP. This generated code on client and server provides an API, that is, an application programming interface, between this application's object-oriented code and its table-oriented data enabling developers to manipulate data using the object-oriented techniques with which they are already familiar. WebOrb even generates a Flex application that demonstrates how to use the generated code to execute full CRUD operations, use data paging, and support client synchronization right out of the box. As an example of client synchronization, consider these two independent clients, which are accessing the same grocery database through WebOrb. When the client on the left deletes bananas from the database, WebOrb notifies the client on the right, so it no longer shows bananas either. The generated classes, with help from WebOrb's runtime, implement industry-standard design patterns familiar to all enterprise software developers. Now, any competent enterprise software developer could write the code WebOrb generates, and probably has, many, many times. But then, at today's standard market rates of pay and productivity, handwriting the code for even this trivial sample would have taken more than a person month and cost more than $20,000, whereas WebOrb's Community Edition can do it for free and instantly. Clearly, WebOrb's Paid Enterprise Edition would pay for itself on its first use. You've already seen WebOrb's code generation and had a peek at its data management development tools. Behind the scenes, WebOrb's runtime handles all of the bookkeeping that ensures that full CRUD operations are executed efficiently with proper transactions, customizable security, and optional client synchronization. Resting on WebOrb's three pillars of code generation, runtime, and development tools, WebOrb bridges data management's swamp of complexity, enabling developers to focus less on infrastructure and more on unique application logic. This can decrease your risk in time to market while increasing your return on investment. Thank you for your interest in WebOrb. Next, download a free version of WebOrb and start saving time and money today. Happy coding!